Hey friends, Zen Tony here, and today is a steel day. So we've got steel kettlebells, steel maces, and steel clubs. So we got a triune function there. So we're just going to whip out a nice little uh, primal nature play and pick whatever you like, put it into your program, and uh, hey, if you got some ideas, send us something. All right, next up, we're going to use some clubs. Now this club is one of the ones I had uh, custom made for me. It's all steel, there's no rubber around it. And you'll see how much smaller in diameter it is. Even though it is a heavier club, it is smaller in diameter. So that's one of the nice things, especially when doing shoulder park squats and things of that nature. I really like the all steel. Plus, when our rancho burned down, the all steel ones survived. The ones that are the club bells, all of those burned down to just the skeleton, which is kind of interesting too. All right, let's swing a little bit. Yep. I love all of my steel equipment, and uh, maces, one of my favorites, especially all the custom maces I've had made. This one was made by Mike Furness. As a matter of fact, all the ones we're using today were made by Mike Furness down in Texas. And uh, you can look in the description below for contact information for him. This is a shot-loaded one. The other ones are uh, stationary weight or standard weight. And uh, we're going to do a movement that... Uh, uh, you see it sometimes, a lot of people don't bother with this one, but it's an, actually it's a great one for getting the back of your shoulders ready for uh, some good heavier uh, mace play. Okay, so what you do, put the hips back, keep the spine straight, and here we go.
So here's the deal. Once you've learned the foundations of your swinging, whether it's with a kettlebell or a club or a mace, don't just stay stuck with the same old movements done the same old way all the time. You start to blend things together. So what we're going to show you is a figure eight to a hold and press, which is just a fun combination. It's a good little sequence. It works in a lot of different ways, and it's something most people don't do most of the time. So include it for that variation in your training. We're going to start with one around the body pass, then through the legs, up, press, back down, drop it through, 